Hello YouTube and welcome to the COA Gaming Channel. It's your girl Breezy Bree, one of the co-directors of COA. On the chopping block for today, we have Horizon Zero Dawn. A game that on the surface may not look like anything new, but brings a lot to the table. Morning label, this is a first impressions video. I've only racked a total of an hour and 20 minutes of gameplay. Let's start with the basics. Horizon Zero Dawn released in February of 2017 as an exclusive on the PS4. About 8 months later, the game still sits at an 89 on Metacritic, also toting a 8.3 in user reviews. I would have to agree with these ratings. The first thing you notice when starting up the game is how beautiful the game is. It takes full use of the power of the PS4 and prioritizes it extremely well. The horizon, haha, <laughs> joke, <laughs> the mountains, the landscape, just everything around you speaks a beautiful view. I just want to comment on the fact that you can see the wrinkles on people's faces. As far as open world games go, horizon is very easy to pick up and just play. You're all alone in a new world, go explore it. From the falling structures to the caves to the ever so obvious robot dinosaurs strolling around the world, the game just whispers to you to explore what is going on. Since we are talking about a new IP, there is no backstory to go on, which is so welcomed in the land of reused IPs and overused stories. I really like the idea of a dystopia world that doesn't explain itself unless you explore it. The combat, at least on easy difficulty, is not challenging but engaging. From hunting robots and just regular hunting to taking down rival tribes, everything is very engaging. But you're taking away a little from the experience if your focus is on the combat. This game really shines in its storytelling and world building. While the gameplay is indeed fun, it's nothing you haven't seen in an Assassin's Creed or Far Cry game. The skills that you can apply in this game work well to improve your game and adapt your playstyle. Hunting skills, combat skills, and stealth skills all play into how you want to go about taking on any size of opponents. This game also has a very nice crafting system. A lot like Far Cry, you have to hunt animals and robot dinosaurs to receive parts to improve your pouches, your quiver, and more. It's nothing new, but it's easy to use and well fitting to the game. A note on the gameplay, it plays in a very interesting fashion that you may not expect. While it has some very obvious gameplay elements that we've borrowed from Far Cry and Assassin's Creed, it also has some elements like Shadow of the Colossal and also a very nice bow system, a lot like Skyrim. You might think that's too much, but really it's a nice combo. Like I've said before, the combat is nothing new here, but it does what it does very well. So what's the game really worth? Is it worth that $60 price tag? Well, honestly, maybe not. While it is a solid title with a lot of really great things going for it, it's still tough to dump $60 on any game. Especially one where one playthrough is really all you're gonna get. Paying more like $40 to $45 is much more manageable for the amount of gameplay that you get here. I honestly got the game for $20 at my local GameStop when it was on sale. That's how cheap I am. Horizon Zero Dawn overall is a fantastic game to play, and honestly one of the staples I would have any PS4 owner have. From the world building to the tight made gameplay elements, any fan of open world games will have plenty to do here. I would definitely recommend any type of game player to pick up this game. This has been the COA Gaming Channel, as your host Breezy Bree, and I want to thank you guys so much for watching. What do you think? Do you like Horizon? Do you think it's worth the full retail price? Let us know in the comments below. 